Hi guys, welcome back to Crystal's Crochet and Stuff. I am Crystal. Today is, crap, I think it's vlogist day 14. I forget to look before I start filming. Anyway, well, my hair's kind of all crazy today. I've been running around cleaning and you can probably hear my washer and dryer. Um, what was I gonna talk about? Oh, right, I went to the secondhand store, which is called Value Village. I always like to go there and look around. My kids always seem to find way more stuff than I do. Uh, but I was looking through their books and I found this knitted, uh, what is it? Knitted beanies and slouchy hats. 31 original designs to suit your style and attitude. I don't know how many of these are beginner friendly, but I don't know. I thought I'd check it out. Who knows? I'll see what I do with it in the end, but I thought I'd take a look at it anyway. And then I like to go through their purses. Now, they're kind of expensive for their purses and stuff. It was like, what was it? I think the tag's still in here. So $6.49, but I kind of, I priced it out for, cause I like these. This is the only thing I like. So I'm pretty much gonna cut this off. And then this has some beads and crap on it. So I might actually cut all those loose too and just put them in my, you know, bucket of beads and stuff and then just throw out the bag I don't really have any use for the bag I may cut out the zippers if they're still in good shape when I just repurpose them we'll see I'm not really sure if they're usable or not but I bought that one for the handles and then I found this one for the handles I like them I'm actually gonna make a basket so I was like this would be pretty good yeah, the zippers look like they're in good shape. I may cut out the pockets and stuff and see if I can reuse some of the stuff in here. So that's pretty much what I do. These were the cheapest bags. If the bags are up in the, you know, $9 plus range, I don't buy them. Um, but like I do, I cut out things in those in bags that I can reuse for my crocheted bags, which makes it not so bad, but I mean still, seven dollars to end up cutting the crap out of it and not really using it as a bag is a little expensive but i like those handles and i needed some so because i'm going to be working on a basket in the next little while i also wanted to show you guys i went to the giant tigers that's right by there i found bags that i'm going to include so um on the 23rd i'll be drawing the winners for the i think it was just like a subscriber appreciation or whatever on a video that I'm not sure what the title was but it doesn't say anything about giveaway so I found these cool bags at Giant Tigers <laughs> so I bought six of these so that way the five winners can each get a bag and then the 500 subscriber giveaway that I just posted yesterday I'm gonna give one to them as well because I was like oh that's kind of cool and it was a good price and they all have llamas so they're all the same so I'm gonna get that ready and then next when is the 23rd see I don't even know but the 23rd whenever that is I will get on and I will um, show everybody the five winners are all gonna get the exact same thing I thought to keep it fair and kind of keep it all equal I'm gonna do five of the exact same thing and it'll all be the same so everyone's gonna get the exact same thing so it'll be five of them I think I said five winners pretty sure I did but it'll be five winners and then the 500 subscriber giveaway uh, winner will be announced the same day but a different prize you guys saw the prize yesterday and I'm gonna add to it a little bit so that's what I did this morning and I made a stop at our dollar store the doll is Dollarama and I was looking and they had yarn. Now, mind you, it was four bucks. I don't really know if this is worth four bucks or not, but whatever, I bought it. Because my plan is to make a basket using those handles. So what I was gonna do is, so this is called Lion Brand Fast Track. Fast Track, and it is 149 yards, uh, 136 meters. It's considered a super bulky and it is 60% cotton, 40% polyester. So I figured I'd get this, they only had this one in this color. Where was the color? Taxi cab yellow. So I got that and then I got three 
of the Jet Black. So it's the exact same thing. It's called Fast Track. Same yardage, 149 yards. Feels pretty squishy, but it shows a basket on there. Now, whether or not that pattern, I don't know if that pattern's on the inside or if you just go online and get the pattern for that. But I'm thinking I'm going to make something like this, but without the handles, because I'm going to use these, the jumbo ones from this bag for the handles for it. So I figured I would do like something like, you know, all the black for the bottom and then do the top in this yellow. So it would kind of break it up. And then this yellow is going to look nice with those handles. So I figured I would do that. It's pretty squishy yarn, actually. It seems like, and it's really thick. Like, it's really, really thick. So I'm like, this, this would probably be really good. I think it'll make a nice basket. So I hope anyway, I'm going to try that later. Well, maybe not later. I have a whole bunch of pattern tests that are still on my hook that I haven't got done yet and I'm frustrated with myself because I figured I'd have it all done by now and I don't. But anyway, that's all I'm up to today. Farting around with that, um, doing laundry, cleaning up, doing dishes, that kind of crap and crocheting. And I've actually, I'm pattern testing, a, um, it's a unicorn but for Halloween. So I'm pattern testing that. I've got it on the hook now because the deadline is like Friday. So I got to get it done. She just gave me the pattern yesterday. So I got to get it finished and get it off to her as quick as I can. And then I was asked if I could pattern test a draft this morning. So I'm going to have that on my hook. I'm still finishing the stinky sweater. And then I have a vest and a blanket that I'm pattern testing. I think I just got to start saying, no, I don't want to do these patterns. <laughs> um, the sweater is easy. It's not hard. It's just that my yarn smells so bad. I don't want to do it. And the blanket is wicked hard. It is an intermediate blanket. It is using stitches I have never used. And I am not going to lie. I'm struggling with it. It is hard. It is definitely the hardest blanket I've ever done. And the stuffies are not hard. I could do those in my sleep, but um, it's more like for the patterns, it's more like going through it, and making sure that the numbers are right, making sure they're, um, there's no spelling mistakes and that kind of stuff. Because I mean, I can do the, the Yamagurumi without really thinking. Uh, sometimes I have to go, like I know how the increases are on almost all of them now, it's pretty similar. So. I was going through it and there was a mistake. She had the same number twice, but the increases were obviously not the same. So I knew there was a mistake right there. I was like, that's wrong. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm up to. I'm going to get back to the uh, unicorn because I got to get it done. Two days is not a long time to get that done, but I started it this morning. I'll show you how much I got done. That's it. I started it this morning. And that's all I've got going right now. I've got to finish it and stuff it. I don't know. I think I pulled too tight or my tension is too tight with this hook and it makes like an awkward bump. I know when I stuff it, it'll be fine, but I don't like the way that looks at the bottom. I'm going to fix it. Probably just try stuffing it and try to like force it to go out a little bit, stretch it so maybe it'll look better. I don't know. All right, guys, I've babbled about nothing pretty much for this entire time but it's vlogus day 14 sure we'll go with that vlogus day 14 and i will come back on and see you guys tomorrow